well in this tutorial we are going to see how to parse the JSON using JSON object API in the Android how to parse this using JSON object API in Android see now what I'm going to do is that here I'll write one method parse private void parse using JSON object API right parse using JSON object API now what is going to happen is that see there is one class called as JSON object object is equals to new JSON object right and here you are going to pass the JSON string you are going to pass the JSON string see I'm passing the JSON string so these are the built-in API for the Android JSON object right I'm passing the JSON over here now there is one unhandled exception you can say try and catch exception E like this and E dot print it stack trace this okay so here you are going to inject the JSON string that JSON string you are giving to the JSON object and from this by the key you can get thing see likewise look at your JSON what you are passing if you want to get the name right see string name is equals to string name is equals to I can say root object to this say root obj and here you can say root obj dot get string and what's the key you are going to pass the key over here that's nothing but the name copy this and you can paste over here so you can get this thing name you can have likewise string you can have this string os is equals to root obj and here you can say OS likewise you can get the keys I'll show you is update available also see F double or let me check root obj dot get double right you can get the double just provide the key version over here you can provide the key as version and you can ke say double version is equals to this then boolean is update available is equals to root obj dot get boolean here you can say get boolean and copy the key key should be same otherwise you would be getting error can you see here you would be getting error like this is update available if I print this much thing and here you can get the object as well this remember that this is again JSON object right so what you are going to do is that JSON object say inner obj is equals to root obj dot get JSON object you can pass the key to that JSON object is all versions like this all versions here you can get all versions like this and again on this JSON object you can say string and what's that string mobile is equals to inner object dot get string you can say mobile so here you would be getting mobile and here int cost is equals to inner obj dot what you can say get int and you can say cost like this because key mobile and the cost are the keys over here sorry base and the cupcake sorry we are doing mistake here you can say base I think both are 
floats or doubles you can say a double base is equals to base get double like this and here also double cupcake base and cupcake cupcake and inner obj dot get double is nothing but cupcake here you can pass cupcake how to get the inner object okay now I want to get the list right I want to get the list this list devices list how you are going to get see JSON array devices is equals to how root obj dot get json array and key would be the devices see over here key would be the devices right key is nothing but what devices okay now iterate over the for you can say int i is equals to zero i is less than devices dot length and i plus plus now see if you look at the json you will come to know that this json is holding some objects right and that's why what you will do over here again for the every iteration it is going to return loop obj I am going to name it as loop obj right or array obj arr obj array obj is equals to devices dot get i give me the object at ith location right you can say get obj get json object at ith location right and again print it here you are going to get what are these two one is string one is double mobile and cost are the keys string which mobile it is is equals to right array obj dot get string you can say mobile like this and int cost is equals to array obj dot get double and you can say cost like this get sorry it should be get int not double get int cost right let me log it all these things log dot i over here at code cool and you can say name or what we'll do is that let's have one string builder string builder just for printing builder is equals to new string builder right and here what you can do is that builder dot append you can say name slash and name dot append you can say name okay then again builder dot append slash and os dot append here you can say os then builder dot append here you can say slash n os dot append sorry not os version version and here you can see version like this then builder dot append here you can say update available update available dot append you can say is update available likewise and once again here builder dot append you can say slash and base dot append again base builder dot builder dot append 
right you can say slash and cupcake dot append here you can say cupcake I'm go on a painting right and here inside the JSON array what you would be doing builder dot append what slash and mobile mobile dot append here you can say mobile and builder dot append slash and cost right mobile and say this is spaces here cost dot append cost and in one shot log dot i at code cool and you can say builder dot to string so here you would be getting directly output right okay but from where you are going to pass this JSON string for testing purpose I have taken one my dot JSON file into this assets folder right here you will find that file in the assets folder let's read that file get assets dot open right get assets dot open you can say my dot json my dot json file right we are opening that my dot json now it is giving me some file output stream fos is equals to this right I will give the generic exception block over here what's happening file output stream okay sorry it is it should be input stream not output stream input stream f i s or say i s simply now for or while right let's read this input stream while true right int ch is equals to is dot read if ch is exactly equals to minus one break the loop right else accumulate the data into one string builder builder is equals to new string builder right and here you can say kindly go on appending the ch by converting it to the care and you can say ch right so here in the builder you got the accumulated string over here right json string over here and here I am passing parse using json object api you can say builder dot to string see how lengthy procedure it is how lengthy this parsing is this is a very time consuming your json is this much now and it is taking this much time and consider that if your json is too big two parts right how much time it will take to write the code only and by considering this there are two libraries json and the jackson both are same both are doing or both are working in the same fashion we are going to see what is json right because i am going to use the json from woli right i am going to use json from woli okay let me run the code emulator is always in place you would be getting output inside this emulator right let's see what output it is going to give it should log right it should log some things otherwise we need to have the text view because sometimes emulator doesn't work right I'll be back once this gradle gets finished see here it has parsed name Android OS JB version this base this right it has parsed this data so this method has parsed all this data using simple JSON object API in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this thing using JSON
one of the library from Google, JSON, right? That's library is nothing but what? JSON. Okay. If you like our videos, kindly subscribe us on the Code Cool channel.